Christ, never would have the cap believed to talk about twins. We understood how it worked. We could feed the world. We could release a single. Because it made me happy. Yanto. Hello. Sorry, um, can you deal with the body when it's cold? My pleasure, unless you mean making sushi. No, the mug will do fine, thank you. So, uh, how was rehab? Oh. Rehabs, plural. Drink, drugs, sex, and... Murder. <laughs> you went to murder rehab? I know, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the odd kill. Who does it hurt? You clean now? Yeah. Kicked everything. Living like a priest. You're not a figment of my imagination. And I don't know what's happening anymore. Maybe this is what a mental breakdown feels like. Yeah, so I was giving him a lift back to his care home. Oh, Torchwood. Yes, Torchwood is a care home. I saw a firebird once. A tiny little thing. Even smaller than a hummingbird. <laughs> Literally made of fire. <laughs> it only lives for a minute. It blazes different colors and sings. <laughs> it gets so bright you have to close your eyes. <laughs> and when you open them, it's gone. <laughs> but the image stays behind your eyelids for longer than it was alive. Broken, Josh! CSI Cardiff. I'd like to see that. They'd be measuring the velocity of a kebab. Mobiles, landlines, tin cans with bits of string, everything. Absolutely everything. No phones, phones all broken. Hello? Anyone there? No, because the phones aren't working. What was that? Pterodactyl. I've... I've been in so much pain. Everything hurts. I know, I know, I know. And I would do anything in the world to take that pain away. Kiss me. What did you just say? You could kiss me. I mean, only if you wanted to. What? I'm more complicated than you might think. Bollocks to serenity. The beans are almost done. But it beans. You two have shenanigans in the dark? Yes, right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to vaporize this paper without even scorching the cup. This is going to end in tears. Okay. What is this, Scooby-Doo? Second week. I had to cover for you. Pretend I was a medic. Because you were hungover and unreachable. Yeah. Was it a space pig? Space pig? Yeah. <laughs> we never did get that date, did we? You and me. We sort of, uh, missed each other. It was my fault. I didn't, didn't notice until it was too late. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Have you seen a blowfish driving a sports car? Congratulations, you've pissed me off. Very few people have, but look at you. Well, since when did we care about court? Got his hand up! That would activate the bomb. So over and out, boss. Signing off. But will I ever see you again? You can just keep hoping. My Captain Jack Harkness. I just wanted to say... It's okay. It really is. Jack, you saved me. You showed me all the wonders of the universe and all those possibilities. And I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thank you. And Owen, <laughs> you never knew. <sighs> I love you. All of you. And... I hope I did good. And before we go any further, who the hell orders pizza under the name of Torchwood? Uh, yeah, that'd be me. Sorry, I'm a twat. I was brought up never to speak of the dead, even if they still do most of the talking for themselves. It was two weeks. Except that two weeks was trapped in a time loop, so we were together for five years. It's like having a wife. 
You were the wife. You were the wife? No, you were the wife. Oh, but I was a good wife. I bet you were. What? Don't pretend you haven't noticed. It's cute. Have you never seen something so mad? So extraordinary? That just for one second you think that there might be more out there? No more locking it all away. You tell me when it's bad. Santa, there's a terrible echo. Have you taken me into the toilet? Sorry, yes. Knowing there has to be more to life than this. Knowing I'm special. Waiting for someone to see it. I saw it. And you save one life. Hundred lives, but it's, it's never enough. Who will save me? I will. Into the lift, I candy. Toshiko? Toshiko! I can't do this, Reese. I'm not up to it. <laughs> Rubbish. Those coppers are out there now because of you. Even if you don't believe in yourself, they did. And I do. You're a bloody hero, Gwen. So you keep going. Because we need you. Will you marry me again? <laughs> and the last thing you ever see <laughs> are my deep green eyes. Ooh. They died. And I am sorry, Jack, but you cannot just run away. You cannot run away. Oh, yes, I can. To Tosh, love and apologies. Owen, they're from you. <laughs> In your dreams, Tosh. I think somebody's winding you up, darling. No, I don't do flowers. And I definitely don't do apologies. Janto, we're having a baby. You told Reese? I only just found out myself. Oh, you told me before you told him. He is gonna love that. <laughs> Congratulations. Would never be a good time to tell you I lost the car. You did what? That is just bloody spectacular. You're my friend. You're not just my employee. And you keep lying to me, and you just nearly killed me, and you know, just occasionally your coffee isn't as good as we say it is, but you're still- Stop the car! What? What, what is it? My. Coffee? Yeah, I was brought back. Like Jesus, really. Uh, but without the beard, you know. Shit, I'm never gonna have a beard. Not that I wanted one, you understand, but, you know, one day I'll... Jack Harkness down there in his little bunker is a liability. He doesn't report to us. He's not doing this for Queen and Country. He's not Torchwood. She's anti-terrorist. I would not mind being Uncle Terrorist. We could have used you an hour ago for a naked hide-and-seek. He cheats. He always cheats. Oi, Chuck the Brothers. Torchwood. Outside the government, beyond the police. Fighting for the future on behalf of Great Britain. The 21st century is when everything changes and we're ready. Obviously. Do you have a team name? I love team names. Go on. Torchwood. Oh. Not Excalibur? Uh, Blizzard? Bikini Cops? No? Torchwood? Oh dear. Do that and I'll snap your neck. <laughs> Once I can get out of this lovely chair. Oh, feel the fabric, it's squishy. Funny, really. I'm sat on a bed next to the body of a dead prince, and my body wants to scream, but I just can't. Are you ever coming back, Jack? What for? Me. It wasn't your fault. I think it was. No. Stephen. And Yanto, and Owen, and Tosh, and Susie, and... Do you think he'll cry when we die? He'll be very sad. Sing along! It's our song. We don't have a song. And if we did have a song, it wouldn't be this song. So, I started looking into, uh, devil worship and stuff from that era. See if there's anything about plucking out hearts, and would you believe it? There's nothing. They ate eyeballs, they drank blood, they had sex with animals, but they did not pluck out each other's arts, because obviously that would have been weird. Get back, you ugly bitch! The hell do you doing? That's my mother!
with Captain Jack. I hate the countryside. It's dirty, it's unhygienic. And what is that smell? That would be grass. It's disgusting. You give up now and you'll prove that Rex was right. Can't have that. <laughs> no, we can't. OK, I, I never liked Tintin. What is weird is he's got a funny face and his hair is just, it's all... I always loved him, Tim. Yeah, well, you would. And he never had a girlfriend, did he? Just the dog. Yeah, so I reckon he was actually shagging the dog. There's one thing I always meant to ask Jack. Back in the old days. I wanted to know about that doctor of his. The man who appears out of nowhere and saves the world, except sometimes he doesn't. All those times in history when there was no sign of him. I wanted to know why not. But I don't need to ask anymore. I know the answer now. Sometimes the doctor must look at this planet and turn away in shame. I'm recording this in case anyone ever finds it so you can see. You can see how the world ended. <laughs>